Foreman here for day one of the Coyote Classic Basketball Tournament here at Shelby High School as many Class B and Class C teams are getting their season started off with this competitive three-day slate. we got boys varsity tipping off first with Chinook taking on Cutbank. In the second quarter, Cutbank swinging around as Jada's running wolf fakes left and goes right with a teardrop floater. Wolves by one. However, not too much longer in transition. Chinook swings it to Brendan Fetter who knocks down the jumper. Sugar beaters up at the half, 30-20. In the third, great block by Fetter leads to a fast break layup for the Sugar Beaters. They go up 14. Leading out of 22, Cutbank pick and roll with a beautiful pocket pass, but senior Oscar Pola there to block the shot with excellent timing. Up top, Schnook boys end up grinding out an eight-point victory in this one. Now, on to the matchup with the girls. We pick it up in the second quarter. Schnook up 14-9 until returning all-conference player Hallie Nybauer makes a nice pass to Bree Swanson off the inbounds play. Then next possession in transition takes it all the way to the rack for two herself. They're up nine. Later in the half, Nybauer this time from deep as the defense holds in the first half. Schnook up 29-17. In the second half, Cutbank trying to get something going offensively. Kendra Spotted Bear catches on the perimeter and lets it fly. But the Sugar Beaters keep the pressure on as they cruise to victory. 53-34, Nybauer would have 25. We switch it over to the boys matchup. This time it's Loyola taking on Fairfield. The always dangerous Eagles in Class B started off hot, taking a commanding early lead as a strong finish from Owen Cartwright Gines in the second quarter. Then to extend the lead later on, Daniel Faith in transition finds Caleb Flores on the dump down as they go up 13. Then Bryden Batson with the steal on the fast break finds Cooper Christensen for an easy two. At the half, it's 38-20 Fairfield. Third quarter, Fairfield up 23, but Faith still wanting to push the ball off the miss. Gets down the middle of the lane and scoops it up and under for the wild finish. The Eagles fly away with this one, 68-44. Now, on to the final matchup of the evening with the girls' matchup of the same teams. Low-scoring affair in this one, but Fairfield keeping control with Avery Pitcher hitting the pull-up jumper to go up six. Loyola would struggle to score throughout as the Eagles win both the boys and girls matchups. Day two of the Coyote Classic continues tomorrow with even more action-packed Class B and Class C hoops. In Shelby, I'm Dylan Foreman, MTN Sports.